question is, how is it that there are some people that are really successful in this economy and other people who are not successful in this economy, even though you have the people that are working really hard and they're actually doing a lot of objective work, why is it that they're not able to be successful in this economy? Well, there's a couple of different way, reasons to look at this. Number one is, is there's always going to be people who profit from the collapse of a civilization. You will always have people like that. Um, that's one of the ways, uh, especially when you have a bunch of people who have inside information and they know what's kind of what's coming before everybody else knows. Okay, that would be your politicians and so on, your other shills and people that are of like kind. But the other thing to understand is a little bit more subtle, and that is that there are we have kind of a scam economy, and it is rigged to where bankers always win. Remember, if bankers run your economy, you will always be in debt. If your bankers run your economy, you will always be in debt because that's how they make all their money. So let's just keep that really clear in our head. Think of it like this, and this is the best way for me to explain this to you, is a game called Three Card Monty. Now, for most of you, you don't know how this game is actually played. You know that there's three cards, right? There's a, there's a, there's a king, a queen, and an ace, right? Okay, and the idea is that we're going to move the cards around on our table, and then you're looking for the ace. And let's say, and you put down your bet, and, you know, of whatever it is you're betting, and you have a one in three chance of getting right and winning even money, okay? Now, that's the game that everybody is familiar with. What you're not familiar with is if you zoom out on that game, and if you watch long enough, you'll see the same two, three guys that are playing, and they'll always tend to win, right? They'll always tend to win. They'll always, you know, oh, they might lose a bet here and there, but then they win it back, and, you know, those it's the same two or three guys that are always tending to win. Do you really think that the dealer is out there to lose money? No, he's not giving away money. It's this, those guys are all in on it. Those are called shills, right? And if you watch it long enough, you'll eventually see a mark, you know, somebody who doesn't know how the game is actually played, walk up there and say, oh, hey, I'll play too, and they put down their money. In the meantime, the shill is going to lift their wallet and then probably just walk off casually <laughs> um, while this person is maybe, yeah, maybe they win their, their, their bet. You know, they've got one in three chance of doing so. Um, and that's assuming that there isn't any sleight of hand where, you know, that the cards themselves may or may not be accurate. So you might have, you know, the ace may disappear and it's just replaced with another queen of hearts or whatever it is. You get the idea? Okay, so that's how the game is actually played, is that there's a bunch of people around you that are in on it. And the only way for you to actually find out for sure would be to take away all those people strip all those guys away, all those shills, and then you deal directly with the dealer, the one guy, and you say, okay, there's no wallet on me. I'm going to put down my bet. Those are the three cards, the, you know, the king, the queen, and the ace, and I've memorized those three cards. We're going to get rid of all the other cards, and you're going to take your jacket off, and you're going to do this, and I'm going to guess, and if I lose, that's fine. I lose, but we're going to then flip over those other two cards, and if those other two cards are any other card, than what you than what I saw, then we have a major problem, right? Okay, so that's how you actually deal with these kinds of people. That is the only way to deal with these kinds of people. These are the same people that are running your banks right now. All these big banks, it's, it's Monty dealers, dude, and shills, and guy, you know, it's, it's your politicians. Their design, the politicians are there. Do you really think? I mean, like, why is it these guys make 174k a year, right, before taxes? And yet they're all multimillionaires. After like one term, they've got millions of dollars. They're shills. They're being paid. That's part of the deal, right? Their job is to keep you distracted and arguing about abortion and other stupid shit. You know, like, yeah, maybe it's an issue, but it's a bigger issue. Your money is a bigger issue. Your money is a bigger issue. I don't give a shit what, you know, like, dude, your money is a big